First Lady in their absence for giving me the opportunity to, and for seeing the call of God that is on my life. And I'm just going to go right into my prayer, and then I'm going to go right into the Word because Elder Mason means when she say 10 minutes, she means 10 minutes. All right? All right, let's pray. Father, we just thank you, Lord. We give you praise and we give you honor. Father, absolutely none of me but all of you, Lord. Father, absolutely none of me but all of you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me, Lord God, to bring a word to your people. And God, let them hear the message. And don't worry about the messenger, God. Oh, God, that is all for your goodness, all for your kingdom, and all for your glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. The scripture that I was assigned to tonight, it is from Psalms 118 and 15. And I'm going to read several versions of different translations very quickly because it's going to bless you. And it reads as the following. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacle of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does powerfully, or you can say, does gloriously. And the international version reads as, shouts in joy and victory resound in the tent of the righteous. And the Lord hand has done mighty things. And the aromatic Bible in plain English, it reads, the voice of praise and salvation is in the tent of the righteous. And the right hand of the Lord Jehovah has performed miracles. And last, the next Bible reads, they celebrate deliverance in the tents of the, of the godly, and the Lord's right hand it conquers. See, this is a song they say that uh, was the last song that before Jesus went to the garden of Gossemia. And he sung this song, and he had this in his spirit. And reading about David, if you know anything about King David in the Bible, David had to come against many things. And David understood what it is like rejoicing and in salvation. Because King David knew better than anyone about the right hand of God exalted on his behalf. See, when the right hand of God is exalted on your behalf, the right hand of God, it represents protection and power and might and dominion. And it is full of ability and authority. And David, I tell you that when he came and he was working the fields and he was keeping after the sheep, and here comes the enemy. The enemy come and he came as a lion. Oh God, that David, when he 
And I found this. It says, that is a rejoicing and thanksgiving for the deliverance God has brought for them. It's in the tabernacle of the righteous because they clearly see God's hand in the work and therefore take pleasure in it. <coughs> there is a noise of them that sing for joy in the camps of the saints. The church, the militant resounds with thanksgiving and the voice of the melody. Oh God, that the right hand of God doeth mighty. These seem to be the words of the song and of joy and praise now mentioned. The right hand is extended. It is appeared evidently and walked powerfully and graciously on your behalf. For what difficult can stand before God? Before God's zeal. It said there is a spirit as well as strength in his operations for his people. You have a right to declare I shall not die by the hands of my enemies that seek my life. I will live. I will declare the works of God. That is, I shall live in the monument of God's mercy and his power. For his work shall be declared in me and by me. And I will make it the business of my life to praise and magnify my God. of God's mercy and power and his work shall be declared in me that means everything that God has called you to do that God has already given you the ability to do it and God said he has set a standard for this house and my question is for you today do you fit the standard for this house whoa glory to God whoa Jesus thank you and I have a confession and as I was reading over uh, keep wanting more joys, all of because these are his confession. These are his the declaration that he's making in his song. And I said, Lord, I have my own confessions. God, I have my own declaration. And mine is that in this house, that we are more than conquerors, that everyone that has anything to do with this ministry fits the standard for this house, that they may take the vision that God has given and they may run with it. Oh, God. And Father, we just thank you, Lord God. And here, it's like, why run with it? Do the people understand the vision? What is the vision for? And even though this goes on another one of our ministry, but this is what God gave me. He said, it is for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, and for the edifying of the body of Christ. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. And I say today, whose house are you in? Whose standard are you living by? That we know that we have the assurance to enter in rejoicing. We have the assurance to know that when God's right hand is seated on our behalf, that we can defeat anything that comes against us. We can defeat anything that comes against our families. And 